Hey, welcome to Beer 30. I'm Greg. I'm Josh. And today we are going to look at three different Florida brews. Well, it's from the same company. Uh, I just took a trip to St. Augustine, Florida, and, you know, of course I had to check out some of the local brews. I don't know what were the best or whatever, you know, I asked around, but um, these three I picked up in, you know, a make your own variety pack. So, uh, and all of them ended up being from the same company. And the company is aptly named Florida Beer Company. Florida Beer Company, how about that? Um, what do you want to try first here, Josh? We're going to do three for you today. Three beers from the Florida Beer Company. Um, let's start with this uh, Florida Beer Lager. Florida Lager. All right, Florida Lager. Let's try this. Let's see. Is this a twist? That's no, not a twist. <laughs> I know. Ne I never have my. Well, at least I carry this in my pocket. Okay. So this one's uh, Florida Lager. It's Florida Beer Company's. Florida Lager is a tropical inspired craft lager. Florida Lager uses a perfect blend of two row caramel and carapels malt with German tradition and northern brewer hops to present a complex yet balanced, full rich and flavorful craft beer experience. Sounds good. Looks good. It looks like it's going to be caramel -like. delicious. It smells good. Alright, let's see. Stay there. Stand by. That's, that's my reaction to everything, isn't it? Yeah, everything. Not, mm. not very good. Uh, mm. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? It's, it's good lager, but... How much, what's the alcohol count on uh, this? Let's see. I don't know, maybe it's like a bottle here. 5.1%. Oh. 5.1. It's a little higher than your average, uh, well, no, it's about up there with Budweiser, I guess. Um, I don't know, it's just okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. I wouldn't say, uh, yeah, it's okay. You know? Buy or no buy, Greg. This, on this, you know what, let's say that till the end because I may I may like one worse than this mm -hmm. and you know Or if you like one best better than this. Well then let's just save it, okay? Well we'll save our reactions till the end. So Florida Lager What do we spoiler alert? We're gonna tell you what we think of it later. <laughs> Not a spoiler at all. All right, next up, Gary wants to go with the uh, Swamp Ape IPA. Oh, that's just the one I drank, all right. That's the one you can grab. I grab. Swamp Ape IPA is an Imperial India Pale Ale. The fresh and lively hop character is derived from using five distinct varieties of hops. Tetanang, Centennial, Chinook, Cascade and Amarillo. You're just making up words. I don't know Yeah, stuff I've never heard of before. This beer has an intense hot bitterness, flavor, and aroma balanced by complex alcohol flavors, moderate fruity esters, and a medium malt character from the balance of two row euro and cherry wood smoked. It mm -hmm. smells fruity. <laughs> it does smell. Yeah, it does smell. It smells good. It smells like. Mm. Like cherry wood smoked. Whoa. It's very bitter. Yeah. It tastes like an ape. <laughs> First hand accounts describe an intense beast. It is a beast. Well, I said whoa. Because not only. When I drank this, I felt going up my nose. Even though it wasn't going up my nose, I could feel 
I don't know, intense. Because it's got a strong odor too. It's not a bad odor. It's oh, not it's like smelling a monkey's ass or whatever kind of language. <laughs> oh, eight's butt. Uh, I'm, I meant like, you know, if a monkey had a pet donkey. You know, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Jeez. And we're, look, look what's on my glass here. A donkey. These are Greg's high quality tasting glasses. Whew, that's, that's it almost has a, a liquor, like a, take a shot of liquor. What is the percentage of that? Oh my god, 10%, no 10%. wonder. No um, wonder, it's very strong, strong. very strong. This'll, whoo, yeah. Uh, okay. You wanna go to, you wanna go to beer three? Let's go to the next one. All right, let's do beer three. Last is the, uh, this is probably going to be the uh, less, least intense of these. This one I'm, I'm really looking forward to because uh, this is a Key West Southernmost Wheat. is an award-winning Belgian-style wit beer, perfectly spiced with coriander, sweet and bitter orange peel with a unique Florida twist. Can you guess what that unique Florida twist is, Greg? Well, should I act dumb? Because I already know what it is. Oh! Uh, Mmm, coconut? <laughs> no, it's key lime. Oh, key lime. So, key West, key lime. How about that? Huh? Now that is that is new because you know these these wit beers they always have the uh, orange and coriander that's pretty common. Um, let's see what the lime is because yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to this lime. I do enjoy the Bud Light lime. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't too much of those. Yeah. I mean. Yes, this is a more mellow beer. This is this is more. Uh, this feels like summer to me. This one. <laughs> I'm not sure we're getting the right flavor as we bounce from beer to beer. No, we go from harsh to mild. Yeah, we it takes a little palate cleansing maybe to. You want to really... cleanse your palate a little? Yeah, I mean, I think almost like we need a snack. Snack time! <laughs> Hey, what do we have that's new? Why don't you let the folks know? Well, I picked this one up because of my... I really like lighthouses. Uh, this is called Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Waffle Cut Potato Chips. And they're new. The flavor is sea salt. And I've never... I don't think I've ever it seen... It stays with the theme. Did, that's the right. The sea, Florida, 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 Capes, Cod. lighthouses. Same, same coast. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever had a waffle cut potato chip though. They had waffle fries. Waffle fries are awesome, man. Yeah, they're my favorite. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a waffle. Arby's, cut man, it's good. Mm. Feels like an Arby's night. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to it. You know what? I switched my waffle fries. I used to, you know, like a French fry, I would dip in ketchup. I, I dip in honey sir. mustard. No, oh. honey mustard. It's the way to go. That's a little tip from yours truly. Well, they, they appear to look like waffles, sort of. Or kind of like, well, yeah, they got a crisscross. Yeah, they have the holes through the middle. Some of them, not so much. Yeah. Well, yeah. Really good. Nice and thick. Sea salt. That's a good chip. chip. I mean, yeah, nothing <laughs> to say. It's just a potato chip. That's good. Cut a little different and it has sea salt. Mm -hmm. They put new on the bag and you jerks like us buy them. <laughs> we can have this awesome show. There I'm you go. I'm feeling a little flush all of a sudden. Really? Yeah, 10%, man. Or is it the other one? Is it the light? Um, it could be the lighting too. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. All right. Here's the breakdown. Bring out the exciting graphic of the marching panda. We'll wait. Look, isn't that cool? Okay. So we'll start with the Florida Lager. Um, I would say 
for me, it, I'd give it, it's an okay, so I'd put it okay enough where I would buy some. I agree. It's a decent beer. Um, nothing really uh, unique or out of the ordinary. No, nothing unique. Just a, a decent beer. It's not a, yeah. It's definitely not like one of your normal, like a crap beer or anything right. like that. Uh, next, we'll go back to the Swamp Ape IPA. That one's hardcore, Greg. I've never had a beer like that that I can recall. Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna take another sip of that. Yeah. Let's see here. What was it? The That's your trip. That's Donkey one, number. Yeah. Man, that knocks you out. <laughs> It's so, very harsh. It is a hardcore beer, no doubt about it. Like if you're man enough to take, well, yeah. maybe I'm not, but <laughs> I, I would say, you know, the way we did it, uh, I got one of those uh, make your own samplers, which it's ten bucks for a six pack. You know that. That's the way I'm trying it, and I would not. I'm sorry, I probably wouldn't get a whole six pack of these. I think that's a little too rough. Well, I think these come in pack four packs. Yo, oh, man. <laughs> I think these are only in four packs, though. I That's think. about all that you can probably handle. Woo! They're pretty strong. <laughs> so, uh, it, yeah. I mean, you know what, though? I mean, it's it's. I like the taste of this beer. I think it. Uh, I think it's unique. Oh, it's not a bad flavor. It is, um, but you can. The alcohol hits you. Whoa. Definitely. Yeah. It definitely hits you. You can feel it. You feel it in your throat. It's like taking a shot of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's 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 strong. And then uh, let's go to our last one. That's the uh, Key West Southernmost Wheat. This, my opinion, this is the best of the batch that we've had. I think this tastes really good. This, uh, this is one of those that I could probably drink a few of these and be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this one. I mean, this one is very unique, um, and I guess it's the Key Lime, but. Uh... It's it's uh, unlike any other beer that I think I've ever tried. I I, I really like it. It's, yeah. it's smooth. It's uh, it's got a, uh, a nice fruitful taste to it. Um, yeah, like you said, it's uh, it's like a summer beer. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good. definitely around the pool drinking these. It's a good time. It feels like a, a Florida beer. Yeah, or what you would think of Florida beer. Definitely recommend these. So we're gonna say a buy on that, and then like we said before. The Cape Cod waffle chips, buy those too, why not? They're, you know, if you can find them. So it was a, it was a buy on the Key West, uh, probably a buy on the on the Swamp Ape, although just be careful. Yeah. And then the Florida Lager, mm, I mean, nothing special, so yeah, give it a, yeah. <laughs> Is that a category? We can make up our own categories. Uh, we went way far out of the category. Yeah. So there you go. There's a few Florida beers. And I think uh, uh, next episode we'll probably have some more Florida beers for you too. And then we'll get back to our roots here in St. Louis. Because I've seen a few out there that I never... What was that? Cathedral? Or uh, St. Louis Cathedral All beer? All kinds or? of stuff out there. Man, it's amazing. We're at a candy store. It's... Um, I was going to say, if any of you have seen the movie Crafting the Nation, a uh, new craft uh, beer documentary, uh, let us know what you thought of that. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it. There's a lot of St. Louis uh, craft breweries in it, and I'll probably see that soon, I hope. But anyway, uh, follow us on Twitter, and I guess that's it. That's, it. that's all we got this time. Until next time. That, that's all we got. We had like four different things. That's a lot of stuff. Lot of stuff. All right. See you next time. Bye.